Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. So, Spider-Man 3 in the MCU is set to start filming this summer and it may bring back Charlie Cox as Daredevil, which is quite interesting. Uh, Kevin Smith teased this. So, um, there was a contract thing with the Netflix characters, so I think they had to wait two years. Come remember, it was two years or three years. They had to wait a certain period and when that period was over, then they can use these characters again. So, there was a contract where it had to, it, Marvel couldn't use their own characters for a couple years. Until that was up, they couldn't use them. So that's why when the seasons ended, they couldn't like continue anything because they couldn't use them. But apparently now they might be able to. And Daredevil was popular to be fair. He was popular. He was sort of in the MCU. He was in the MCU, but they didn't connect it that much. It was sort of like a cousin of the MCU. Like they mentioned the 2012 incidents of the Avengers. That's about it. There was no Infinity War effect or anything like that. There was Civil War reference, I think, but still, um, it's still connected loosely. So they can just tie it in easily. It's like it's easy to tie in, to be fair. Um, so yeah, apparently he might come back. So uh, Spider-Man 3 is scheduled to be in shooting this summer. That I could change, obviously, due to the outbreak. But little note about Tom Holland's next screen, big screen adventure as Peter Parker. We, I mean, to be fair, like. You could do like a John Wick thing where everyone's trying to kill him. Just not as brutal to be fair, but like this is how you could do the Sinister Six considering everyone knows who he is now and maybe the villains will be after him now. So you could have six villains, the Sinister Six, go after Spider-Man. There's a plot for you. There's a plot for you, uh, MCU, Kevin Feige and Kevin Smith, you know. You know, there's a nice plot, a John Wick style Spider-Man movie. I would watch it. John Wick 3 I'm talking about specifically. Uh, we do know Marvel Cinematic Universe Hero is going to be in big trouble. Yes, very big trouble, as Muno would say, given what happened in the Spider-Man Far From Home. Yeah. He shared a rumour in, in regards to how... Um, is to how, or more specifically who, might get him out of this pickle. So, a lawyer. I guess maybe he needs a lawyer. Uh, <laughs> and, and obviously a good, uh, fight, uh, a good fight partner as well. Uh, possible spoilers. There's a rumor for this time, but if it's to be true, this could be a big reveal that certain fans don't want, don't want spoiled. Um, during a recent episode of Kevin Smith's Fat Man on Batman podcast, that's an interesting name, the director and noted Marvel fanboy decided to share a little something he said about the movie, specifically that none other than Charlie Cox will appear. I mean, okay, that's what he meant. Like, <laughs> it's in the title. So, uh, yeah, I heard another good uh, piece of news um did you hear the spider-man the new spider-man movie is gonna have a lawyer in it i i did say lawyer i didn't even read this bit before but <laughs> that, that that's a good coincidence there um they're bringing in as matt murdoch that's been the rumor online and they say that's like the one marvel's like god then how do they get that out oh wow so uh yeah, let me just read the rest of this. Uh, this would, for a variety of reasons, be but a huge. This would, for a variety of reasons, but a huge deal. What? This would, for a wide variety of reasons, but a huge deal. English. There have been unsubstan uh, un unsubstantiated rumors floating around online, suggesting something like this could happen. Though it's not clear precisely where Kevin Smith is getting information from. Yeah, I want to know as well, mate. In any case, the idea of Daredevil effectively being made part of the MCU in a significant way by bringing Charlie Cox to the big screen would be massive. Yes, it would. Even if it doesn't suit up as the man without fear. I mean, he should. He should. Matt Murdock is, after all, a highly skilled lawyer. And that's something Peter Parker could use right now. You see, I want Parker to meet um, Wilson Fisk. You know, I want that to happen. Come on, Wilson. What's the actor's name again? We need to get him back. Uh, Far From Home ended with Mysterio, not only revealing Spider-Man's secret identity to the world, but also pinning his murder ring hero, so it makes sense for Peter Buck to get dragged to court. Why not have a famous lawyer from the MCU represent him? That said, it might take a sense to have Jennifer Waters, She-Hulk, handle the job, considering she's getting into series of Disney+. Plus. So that could be an option as well, to be fair. Could be both. Why not? Why not have both? Um, why would he need a lawyer, though? Is it because he's a minor? 
because like I don't remember Tony Stark getting a lawyer to defend himself I mean to be fair actually they had conferences then they did in Iron Man 2 they were <laughs> meetings about his uh, his suit uh, but still like why does he need a court case specifically why does he need to defend himself that's the real question I think well we'll see like if it happens we'll see the storylines um, so yeah three seasons obviously this is a great show all three seasons I loved them they were amazing season three was just unreal as well so I was gutted to see it end um, even Punisher as well, Jessica Jones, they have some good stuff there with their shows so it's annoying to see them all end so I'm hoping that Daredevil and the Punisher at least get into the MCU, even Jessica Jones as well um, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, they're not like amazing characters in my opinion um, but I wouldn't mind seeing them either, I wouldn't mind seeing them come in um, if it's possible um, you can introduce Iron Fist through Doctor Strange I guess it's been on, obviously there's Multiverse of Madness, so they could just introduce the, uh, introduce the MC, the Netflix MCU uh, heroes through that, possibly. Um, and if they have a reference again. For that reason, having Matt Burdock show up would have major implications. Spider-Man 3 is currently set to hit theatres on July 16, 2021. Feel free to check out the full episode of Fat Man and Batman on Kevin Smith's YouTube channel. Interesting. Interesting. So, uh... What do I think? I think it would be cool. I do want to see him back in the MCU. This would be a cool way to do it because they are in a way connected. Um, they're both connected in a way to Wilson Fisk as well. So I'm hoping to see a connection there as well. And um, whatever happens in this movie, I'm hoping for Sinister Six to turn up. I'm hoping for that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And even if it's, if it's the last MCU Spider-Man movie, it would be a great thing to see him uh, and Daredevil in the same movie, that would just be awesome. So, uh, maybe Deadpool as well. That's been rumoured as well. You can just have a cameo in there. There's been rumours about Deadpool replacing Stan Lee as the cameos. Um, I wouldn't say replace Stan Lee. What I would say is he can do cameos in every movie, just make it his own thing. Just like Deadpool could just be sitting doing a drawing while there's people fighting on the street. And I don't know, like you can be creative with Deadpool cameos. I think Reynolds would do it as well. I think Ryan Reynolds would do that. He'd do a cameo for every, every movie. So uh, that'd be a cool thing to see Deadpool show up in this as well. But we'll see. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.